Commander, there's a new message at your private terminal.
you were right, Commander. It sounded like things were bad down there. The Turians took some heavy losses, but we got them out okay. Well, whatever you did down there stirred up a lot of Turian comm traffic. What are they saying? Sorry, it's encrypted. Cracking it would take at least a week, and it would be wrong. There's the folks who answered the distress call. Cerberus Cruiser. At least a dozen fighters on blockade duty. Not too many for us in a straight-up fight. They must want this place bad. Receiving incoming transmission. Let's hear it. SSB Normandy. This is Kaylee Sanders, director of Grissom Academy. We need immediate assistance. Cerberus is attacking the facility. They're after my students. This is Commander Shepard. We're blocked on a direct approach. I know. They've taken control of our docking base. Any alternatives? There's an auxiliary cargo port I could probably open. All right. We'll come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. Joker, can you give me a diversion? Oh, boy, can I?
Come and get me. Keep the shuttle in position. We'll be back. Sanders, we're clear. It's me. Commander, thank you. Admiral Anderson always said you were the best. And with Cerberus coming for my students, I need the best. How many of you are there? Fewer than 20. Most were sent home when word of the Reaper invasion spread. But a few volunteered to stay. Some are prototyping tech for the Alliance. Others are biotics. They've been training for military operations. Working together as biotic artillery. You said something about Admiral Anderson. Yes. We met... God, what's it been? 20 years ago when he was a Spectre candidate. I was there when Saren betrayed him. David saved my life that day. He's a good man. He was on Earth when the Reapers hit. He stayed behind when I got off world. I hadn't heard. We've been cut off from most news. He's alive? Alive and fighting. He's currently leading the resistance movement. Good. If we get out of here... Well, just tell him to stay alive. A few months knocking over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Agreed, but the Alliance needs every resource it can get. And our students are unique... resources. They wanted to help. How could we say no with the entire galaxy falling apart? Hang on. I've been trying to get communications working. Orion Hall? Back out the door and down the hallway. I can get the door open. I'll bring them back here and we'll make a run for the shuttle. Thank you, Commander. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. I'll get the door for you. It leads to a Sanders in security. Okay, but my sister Sean is out here somewhere too.
Joker, we're still trying to reach the students. How you holding up? Getting paid to fly circles around Cerberus? Yeah, I can do this for a living. She's bleeding. Shepard, we need to help her. Sean, can you hear me? I don't know my name. I saved your brother. He's with Kaylee Sanders at security. Can you get to her? Yeah. I just need to rest for a minute. Thank you. like that girl you took to prom. Grab juice and an energy bar. We move in five. <clears throat> uh. Damn it. How many times did I tell you not to trust Cerberus? You're not telling me anything I haven't told myself, Jack. Oh, you feel bad? Well, shit. I bet that's a big comfort to all the people Cerberus has killed. I'd forgotten how angry she was. Whereas I barely remember you at all, Blue. Your real first name is Jennifer. I can find your last name if you ask politely. Okay. Right now, all I care about is getting my guys out of here. Your guys? <laughs> yeah. I guess so. I can't think of anybody who could care about them more. Well, I had some free time while you were off playing Hero. Alliance Brass knew I helped you. They offered me this. And apparently, the students responded well to my teaching style. The psychotic biotic! I will destroy you! Drink your juice, Rodriguez. You couldn't destroy wet tissue paper. Cortez to extraction team. The Cerberus cruiser is coming back. 
How long have we got? Two minutes tops, Commander. After that, there's no way we'll get past them. Get out of here and back to the Normandy. We'll find another way off the station. Roger that. Good luck, ma'am. Shepard to Sanders. The students are safe, but the shuttle's a no-go. Understood. I might know another way off the station, but I need station-wide camera access. Can you disable the Cerberus security override? It's routed through Orion Hall, so it should be nearby. How does camera access get us off this station? We need to reach the Cerberus shuttles. The cruiser won't auto-target friendly ships, which gives us a fighting chance to escape. Get me back the cameras, and I'll find a path to the shuttles that keep Cerberus from boxing you in. Sanders, you should have access now. Got it. The fastest way is through the atrium, but Cerberus has sealed the doors. You'll need to disable the magnetic locks. The overrides should be directly above the door. You really think we're getting out of here? Of course we are. Don't talk like that. Sorry. We'll be ready when you need us, Commander. I can't believe you and our teacher work together. So aren't you sure that you here, Shepard? Maybe we've got a chance. Yeah. Got it. You should be able to force the door open now. I'll get to the shuttles ahead of you and get a pair ready to fly. Die now. Keep low, pick your targets. Students of Crystal Academy, the station is sealed. The Alliance soldiers cannot save you. All they can do is get you killed. Surrender peacefully and you won't be harmed. <sighs> Asshole. Damn it, they're messaging everyone. Students, switch your Omni tools to privacy mode so they can't track you. What if. what if they're not lying? You've already held your own against Cerberus. You've been trained for this by one of the best. Come on, Rodriguez. They're only asking nicely because you scared them in that last fight. So take your balls out of your purse and kick some ass. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Let's go!
Kaylee, we're in the atrium. I'm taking a back route to the tunnels. I'll meet you there. Nice one, Prangley! Impressive barrier, Octavia. Our files. As you've been working on a shield technology. Commander Shepard with the Alliance. I'm here to help. I didn't buy it from the last guy, and I've got no reason to buy it now. The square root of 906.01 equals... 30.1. Hello, Commander Shepard. David, do you know her? Yes. She rescued me from Cerberus. Sent me here. She made it quiet. You did a great job keeping yourself safe. The biotic students are up there. Stay close. They'll get you out of here. Okay. Ah, uh, thanks. Has Grissom Academy been all right? Yes. I've been counting. Anything in particular? The number of days you lengthened my life. The security office. I hacked the lock. Guns. Lots of guns. Goodbye. Looks like schematics for amp interfaces. Not as good as what we already have, but still worth a look.
How's it coming? Shuttles are unlocked. Take the controls and get the students aboard. Wait, where the hell's Rodriguez? Joker, we flew out on a Cerberus shuttle. Watch your fire. Right, I've got you on sensors. Should just be a minute. Thank you, Commander. We'd have never gotten off that station if you hadn't come. Forget that. We kicked some ass. Next place we dock, you're all getting inked. My treat. <clears throat> what do you guys want? Ascension Project logo? Glowing fist? Maybe a unicorn for Rodriguez? Screw you, ma'am. I can't believe we got them out alive. I was going to suggest that they stick to support roles. But perhaps they're ready after all. Damn right they are. Get ready for the big leagues, kids. 
Commander, we've got a visual on you now. Preparing to dock. Hey, Jack, now that you're military, you gonna wear a uniform, or are you just getting the officer's bars tattooed on? Screw you, f Flight Lieutenant. <laughs> what the hell was that? Jack promised to watch your language in order to maintain the necessary professionalism we need from our teachers. Would she have a swear jar or something? I bet if we empty that thing, we can afford another cruiser. Cover your ears, kids. Hey, Joker. Good work, Shepard. I can only imagine what would have happened to those kids if they'd fallen into Cerberus' hands. Hackett has the technically-minded students looking at the Crucible. Apparently, David Archer has already given them some ideas. They're definitely eager to help. These students are some of the best humanity has to offer. And we're throwing them into battle. God damn it, I hate this war. Hackett didn't mention in his report... Kaylee Sanders is safe. She's with the recruits. Thanks, Shepard. When I heard about the attack... Well... I've already lost a lot of friends. She asked me to tell you to... stay alive. <laughs> Did she now? Well, thanks, Shepard. That might be the first good news I've heard this week. Edison out. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCom. Commander, something else you need? Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. What was that all about with the Primarch? Turian's up to something? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Uh-huh. All right. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Uh, yeah. Something wrong? Morden. He got his tissue sample from me, all right. Let's just say scalpels were never meant to cut where he cut. Commander, casualties were heavy in this system. There may be survivors. I found something.
Signal confirmed.
smell something. IFF compromise. Full retreat necessary. something. IFF compromise. Full retreat necessary. Evasion successful. Signal confirmed. Reapers eluded. Commander, Admiral Hackett believes this system may contain assets we could use for the Crucible. I found something. Signal confirmed.
Normandy, we are transferring your docking clearance to an Alliance official. Figures. Finally back in action, the Alliance already wants us tagged and collared. Just our way of welcoming you back, Flight Lieutenant. Uh, yes ma'am. Requesting docking permission? Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. I found this Metagel formula. Figured you could make good use of it. Where did you find this? Never mind, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Welcome to Serta. Thank you for coming to Serta. Thank you for shopping. How can we help you? I overheard you talking. Grissom Academy is gone, but I found this while I was there. What is it? Yes, these are tailored to human physiology, but with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you. Good to see you up and around. Yeah. Everything all right? I guess. Oh. I took Udina's offer. Spectre status. Congratulations. Seems small compared to what's going on. You ready for the responsibilities of a Spectre? Doesn't feel real yet. Maybe it'll sink in. I don't know what duties I'll have. Everything's a mess right now. What do you think of all this? You're a fine soldier with an impressive record. You deserve this. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. He said we'll have the official ceremony soon, once I'm out of here. And after? Any plans to come back to the Normandy? Good question. I guess that's up to Adina. Sure. Let me know. You feeling better? I'm fine. Other than the pile of paperwork the doc's gonna throw at me. Sorry I'm so distracted, Shepard. It's just... What's going on? I heard from my mom. They got out in time. They're okay. Good. That's good news. It is. Did your sister make it to the Citadel? She did. But... her husband was killed in action. I'm sorry, Ash. Thanks. Yeah. Sarah wasn't much for the military life. We were all surprised when they got married. I wonder how many families are getting torn apart by the Reapers. I don't want to think about it. Seems hopeless sometimes. Don't blame yourself for this, Ashley. I know. But I'm her big sis, you know? In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced or cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody, but unbowed. What's that from? Invictus, by Henley. One of my dad's sappy poets. It's about not giving up. Right. My sister wants to do a thing at the memorial. Nothing fancy. Just some words about the family. It'll be tough. Keep me posted, all right? Will do. And thanks, Shepard. Reaper-occupied colonies are being placed in makeshift You can replace the leg, right? Yes. But clone tissue replacement takes months. Shepard, please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Have you decided how to tell him? I don't know. A text message is so interesting. Man, you look horrible. Man, you look horrible. 
Hey, I remember you. Shepard, right? Heard you're fighting the Reapers. Matriarch Athena. We were working on Ilium. How'd you end up here? Nah. With the Reapers making noise, I figured it was time to get somewhere safer. So I moved here. I don't think so. I've seen some video footage of you looking at Liara. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> Matriarch Benazio was, um, was her mother. And, uh, well, she doesn't know it, but I was her father. You mean you were her other mother, right? No, I didn't pop her out. Hell, she's never even met me. Sorry, if you were human, you'd both be called the mother. Regardless of which one gave birth. Well, I'm not human, am I? Anthropocentric bag of dicks. Liara would love to meet you. Why? She doesn't even know me from a hole in the ground. Panesia ran off before the kid was born. Besides, this isn't charity work. She's one of the biggest intel brokers in the galaxy. And she's got some shady connections. Like a human commander that used to work for Cerberus. Sound. I only worked with Cerberus to fight the Reapers. And you're not with him now. I know. If you were, you wouldn't get within a light year of Liara. Is that a threat? I'm no commando, but I've had a thousand years to learn to fight dirty. Nobody messes with my girl. Anyway, you combine her work with Vanessia, and... Well, the matriarchs might have ordered a hit. I hadn't agreed to keep an eye on her. I bet she'd like to meet you. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Bartender over there? The matriarch hired by the Asari government to track my movements? She's your father. I know. You know? I'm a very good information broker. And you haven't talked to her about spying on you? If I did that, they might send someone who wasn't as sympathetic to me. Besides, this is hardly the time for family reunions. Liara. Oh, fine. Come on. I can't blame the matriarchs for keeping an eye on you. I am not my mother. You did threaten to flay someone alive with your mind. I had to make them take me seriously. I wasn't going to actually do it. And... You bugged my office on Ilium. Logical conclusion. Yeah. to CASA Fabrication Weaponry. CASA Fabrication Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. Neither should you. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. Welcome to Nosastra Sporting Goods. Good hunting. I really appreciate management doing this. My husband's away on duty right now. Welcome 
to Cipertine Armory. Thank you for shopping at Cipertine. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Thank you for shopping at Agor Munitions. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Remember, all purchases made by Agor Munitions will show in your credit report as AM Trading Limited. I've connected with Jonas Sedaris and her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that console. Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. <laughs> oh, yes. You've killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. You have to move on. And I will, once all my enemies are dead. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Saying my second in command is a weak-willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. Quick, hands behind your back. Over here in the air. What the hell are you talking about? Crete, Blood Pack's leader. Aria brings him the great commander Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Not the best start to our friendship, Narl. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and uh, try to look like I beat you up or something. This better be on the up and up. Quiet! Aurea Talok is more powerful than I thought. Her instructions on boarding the Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this. <laughs> Commander Shepard, I want you to know your head will be the hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Creed. So. Do you agree to Arya's terms? Most definitely. Arya can use the blood pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Crete. Quill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! Not him! Grill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes! Yes! I'm Arias Mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I'll scratch yours. Word of advice. Don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. Uh-huh. Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. <laughs>
Commander Shepard. It's been some time. Barlavon, in case you've forgotten. Financial advisor. And an acquaintance of Admiral Anderson. I admire the courage it took for him to stay and fight on your home world. We need more people like Anderson if we're gonna win this. Agreed. That's where I can help you. A sizable mercenary group is offering their services to anyone who can rescue them from Reaper-controlled territory. Evacuate them, and they'll join your army. I appreciate the information. Just don't wait too long to act on it. The Reapers are advancing all too quickly. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. The galactic market is in considerable flux. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. of interest to you are highlighted on the elevator menu. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay E-24, emergency civilian housing. You can't turn people away. Yes, we can. Tell your friends to move their ship out of the Docking Bay. Wait. Sure you can't squeeze in a few more people, officer? And who the heck are you? Oh, Commander Shepard. Uh, if that's what you think, I'll, uh, I'll find them some room. So my family can dock? Commander Shepard says your family's cleared. Just tell them to hurry. I... Thank you, Commander. Thank you so much. Yeoman Kelly Chambers. Shepard, it's really you. I could just hug you. It's good to see you too, Kelly. <sighs> I've been so worried. Without my Cerberus contacts, I had no way of knowing if you'd survived the invasion. You're not with Cerberus anymore. Working with you opened my eyes, got me thinking. I looked closely at what Cerberus had done. In good conscience, I couldn't stay with them. You inspired me to leave. Come back to the Normandy. Please believe me. <laughs> I want nothing more than to be with you again, but I can't. Ever since the Collectors abducted us, I relive it every night. I see Joker running out. Then that cold hand pulls me back. They're above me, around me. They stuff me into that coffin, and I'm relieved that they aren't touching me anymore. But then it's so small. You can't breathe. It seems like forever. I watched people melt. God. Hey, it's okay. I'm fine. I just can't step back onto the Normandy. I'm sorry. Don't be. And even if I could, I shouldn't. I'm making a difference here. If there was ever a reason I studied psychology, it was to help people at a time like this. Didn't think Cerberus liked people going AWOL. They don't. But Cerberus has more important things to worry about than me. I can tell you're doing good work around here. Keep it up. Thank you, Shepard. I will. 
I'm so glad you found me. Seeing you makes everything right again. Oh, and your fish. Nobody was going to take care of them with you in custody, so I saved them. I'll send them back to you. Oh, I need to run. Please be careful. Yeoman Kelly Chambers. Shepard, it's really you. I could just hug you. It's good to see you too, Kelly. <sighs> I've been so worried. Without my Cerberus contacts, I had no way of knowing if you'd survived the invasion. You're not with Cerberus anymore. Working with you opened my eyes, got me thinking. I looked closely at what Cerberus had done. In good conscience, I couldn't stay with them. You inspired me to leave. Come back to the Normandy. Please believe me. <laughs> I want nothing more than to be with you again, but... I can't. Ever since the Collectors abducted us, I relive it every night. I see Joker running out. Then that cold hand pulls me back. They're above me. Around me. They stuff me into that coffin, and I'm relieved that they aren't touching me anymore. But then it's so small. You can't breathe. It seems like forever. I watched people melt. God. Hey, it's okay. I'm fine. I just... Can't step back onto the Normandy. I'm sorry. Don't be. And even if I could, I shouldn't. I'm making a difference here. If there was ever a reason I studied psychology, it was to help people at a time like this. Didn't think Cerberus liked people going AWOL. They don't. But Cerberus has more important things to worry about than me. Don't take chances with Cerberus. Change your look, change your name, get new identification. That takes time, and the people here need my help. Do it, Kelly. Okay, I will. If you think I should. I'm so glad you found me. Seeing you makes everything right again. Oh, and your fish. Nobody was going to take care of them with you in custody, so I saved them. I'll send them back to you. Oh, I need to run. Please be careful. Let's check on those Metagel supplies. Yes, sir. And have we heard anything from the hospital? The surgeons there are all busy. Keep on it. Some of these wounded don't have much time. Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting Reapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out whole platoons at a time. A single Reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war. It's slaughter. They're called Reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. There's a lot more war to go. Men, get ready for trouble. Not here for that, Zane. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris's release. Oh, you're the one coordinating that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. Saying you should run Eclipse. Huh? You can do it. Leave Sedaris locked up and make the deal with Arya yourself. Hmm. Arya would be a step up. And you think she'd let me run things? 
I don't see why not. Right. Right. Then that's the plan. Keep Sedaris in jail. I'll call Arya right away. Good man. Oh yeah, the one based on that war hero? We locked him after some kid spilled soda over the, the hardware. I'll How many on board? It, but we've only got the demo version working. That's all. They said the fighting was getting worse. Good to meet you. Well, I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. For them. And this is going to be home for a while. Wow. Arya wasn't kidding. The great Commander Shepard on a leash. I'm here for my own reasons, Vosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Which is? A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. There must be more to Oraka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Oraka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. You seriously think I'll assassinate a Turian general? Arya seems to think so. Or else, why would she send you? She knew the price. The two of you work it out. Oh, and, uh... <laughs> Tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. What is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Oraka. Who cares what Vosk wants? What he needs is for Oraka to stop disrupting his operations. I figured you'd talk to Oraka, see if you can get him to lay off. And if he won't listen to reason, call me, and I'll take care of it. I don't see the distinction. The distinction is that I'm giving you the chance to save his life. Right. Why didn't you just tell me this yourself? Vosk needed to see you, needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. Yeah, he mentioned that, uh... That I'm going to sleep with him? We all have our delusions. Shepard, the Council withdrew the release order for Sedaris. Arya Talok, of all people, got him to do it. I can say that again. Thanks for your help, Shepard. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. I guess it doesn't matter how I do it. I just need to tell him about it. Commander Shepard. General Araka. I think we met in Korra's den. You were pretty miserable, if I recall. Yes. Neck deep in drink just before I retired. I'm clean now. Reinstated. I hear you're taking on the Blue Suns. I need to do my part for the Citadel, Commander. The Blue Suns are raiding CSEC weapons shipments. I'm putting a stop to that. Those mercs are seriously jeopardizing the Citadel's ability to defend itself if the war comes here. When the war comes here. There are other ways to secure weapons, General. You don't think I've tried? There's a black market dealer on Citadel right now, but he won't sell his top-line arms. 
The Reapers are destroying everything in their path, and I can't stop them. But I can stop the Blue Suns. Let me see what I can do for you. I'd appreciate your help, and I'll have a plan of action ready if things fall through. Look, Commander, I don't want any trouble. I'm authorized to sell here, and all my arms are legal, see? These are lightweight weapons. Where's your top-end inventory? Shit, you slumming for C-Sec, too? I already got harassed by the old Turian with a bad attitude. Yeah, I got much better stuff, but it's off the margin. Galaxy's going belly up. Credit won't mean anything once the Reapers rip through. So what exactly are you saying? Whatever happens, I figure there'll be survivors, but it'll be chaos. I'm betting things will run on a barter system. So I'm getting a jump. My best stock only trades for hard goods and artifacts with real value. So what gets me access to your top shelf? Heh, <laughs> Turian just waved credits in my face and spat on it. Nice to see you have flexibility. If you find any rare pieces when you're out saving the galaxy, bring them back. Then I'm happy to share my top stock with C-Sec, no problem. Outside of that, I gotta stick to my guns. You're back, huh? Any luck out there? So what exactly are you saying? Whatever happens. So I'm getting a jump. My best stock only trades for... So what gets... Credits don't talk with me, Commander. Outside of that, I gotta... Using Hades Gamma as a staging area. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go to the Turian Board. Commander, unless you can find a new source of weapons for CSEC, I'm putting together a task force to stop the Blue Suns by... I'll get you your weapons. I appreciate the... Shepard, please select the destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. But what I need is proof. I can't tell me you have found my son. Not yet. My apologies. You Thank you for being here. suffered a heavy blow as our tourist station, capital of the Systems Alliance, yes. has fallen to Reaper forces. Commander, 
I expect you're curious about Lieutenant Commander Williams. Ashley said you offered her Spectre status, and that she'd accept it. It is true. The Council is in dire need of loyal agents. Williams is among the first of many. It's about time someone recognized Ashley's contribution. Yes, her service record speaks for itself. She's a survivor, a warrior, and most importantly, she is incorruptible. I will be keeping her close. Do not worry. The time, my schedule has a way of catching up to me. Will this be all? I should go. I'll be here. It never rains, but it pours, eh, Shepard? That bad, huh? Things here are getting tense. So many refugees scuttling about. Rumors flying about the war. People are walking around, eyeballing each other, and we can't keep up with the reports on suspicious behavior. It'll probably get worse before it gets better, Bailey. Yeah, if it ever gets better. private terminal. 